not gonna be great on that field, you gotta have a why. You gotta have a reason for why you do what you do. Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Cooler Man 100 x how you guys doing? Um, welcome to the next part of the Red Sea offense. Um, this playbook, all these plays are me based on I the Broncos playbook offense. The offensive playbook. <laughs> I was backwards, but y'all know how it is. Sure, but anyway. Um, the next formation, which is, we did deuce pair. I hope that video went long, but it's still, you can do a lot out of that formation deuce pair. So make sure you watch that video if you're interested. Um, the next formation is one of my favorite, which is dice slot. I actually did research on this formation a lot. I did a lot of research on it, and I think this video is going to be pretty long. So, <laughs> just giving y'all a heads up because it's a lot the concepts out of this playbook. All right. Um, what you really want to come out in first is automatically is the HB cutback. This play is very good. The HB cutback which is a very good concept counter. Um, we're going to come out here and run random D. Um, what's really good about this this play is potential of getting stopped or getting big yards. So after he cuts up the field, the Bears just got good blocks here for some fucking reason. Um, comes up the field, hit that hole, you get a get big chunk of yards there. And your audibles, which is HB Connor, middle slants, slide crawls, PA uh, comeback. Don't worry about the PA comeback route. That, don't worry about that play. You just want to focus on these three audibles, which is good. Now, um, after you run that play, you know, you get a couple yards with that. You can switch to the HB zone and switch sides, which is very good. So you got, you know, you got two potential running plays that'll get you above 10 or 15 yards. So automatically you got the slant. So you hit the post routes. That doesn't matter. So you got that slant across the middle, which is good. So you can run that play. Any way you want, you can streak the tight end. You got a levels concept there. And what's really good about this slot cross is um, you can put this drag here, and automatically you have that levels concept, and you can put the running back and the swing route to the left. Now pay attention. Uh, I'm gonna run around him and zoom that man. <laughs> I'm gonna run it one more time. Try to get around him. Oh, they come out now. Like, damn goal line. Practice mode is horrible, <laughs> by the way. Um, okay. Uh, three deep. What do y'all come out in the regular play? What do y'all come out in three deep for? What the fuck? This, okay, stop. It. Cool. All right. Okay, that's a good defense. Okay. Now you want to come out in the slot cross, uh, drag the tight end, put the running back in the wheel route, or you can put him in any type of route, wheel route, swing route. I forgot what it's called. Swing route. Um, motion to the right. Got the same type of levels concept, and if you, I'm gonna go to instant replay and guess what that looks like, guys. Once again, guess what that looked like, guys. You have another PA in the round. <laughs> oh man, the glitchiest shit in this game. So you got another PA in the round type of field. You got the level one concept. So linebacker sucked down with the running back. So you got level one here. Uh, you got the level one, you got the level two, you got the level three, so, and you got your streak. So you got the PA in the round type of feel there. That's a good way. So you got your quick PA in the round to go to if you want. So that's a great way to shake up the players there. Ooh, I threw that so wrong, but yeah, you get the concept there. So. Um, so them audibles are very good. So you want to come out of HB counter as your first play all the time. So you hit them with them routes. And after you hit them with a couple yards, you feel as though that stopped. And then you hit them with the inside zone, hit them with the slot cross, hit them with the middle slant. So that's one scheme right there. <laughs> that's one scheme you can run by itself. Now, we didn't even get to the rest. So, um... The HB draw is good on one that's very self-explanatory, but the next play I will really, really pay attention to is this PA counter post. Now, now uh, pay attention. Now, you can run this play in very different ways. Now, you can put the wide receiver on the left Jackson in a smart route and put the sl uh, slot receiver on the streak. And all you have to do is cancel the play action. Cancel it and pass lead down. See how he cuts out field? <laughs> 
Now we're gonna go to Insta Replay and I'll show you what I'm talking about now. Now this is a way that the corner will not be guarded. See, this is the way the corner will not be guarded. You see how the corner can't react to that, that pouch of corner right there? So you see how he cuts out and the cornerback slips backwards, see? But he can't react in time. So this is stop a lot of people that's blitzing you and stuff like that. I'm gonna show you once again, streak the tight end, put the wide receiver in a um, smart route and cancel the play action. Cancel it, pass lead now. Sometimes you pick it off, but you gotta pass lead it now a little bit quicker. So um, streak the tight end, cancel the play. I'm trying to cancel it, bam, I gotta cancel it, but he keeps reacting to the motherfucker. So that's a great way to uh, go to it, but you gotta practice that play. I really wouldn't just go in the game and do it. It's, you know, I found that out. So yeah, it's, it's a good play. It just you know, if you have a taller corner, it'll be more effective. But it's hard, hard to do in the practice room because they. But users they won't be able to guard that because half of people that play zone, you know, half people play zone won't be able to play that play. So and plus another way you can uh, if you feel as though that play is not working. Uh, you can do the same adjustments, put them in the smart route, and the tight end will be wide open in there every play. See, tight end, pass lead now. Every play, that one pops. So, uh, another way you can run this play, which is very deadly, you can put the t uh, put him in a streak, and you can motion the tight end over and cancel the play action again, and he'll be, see, pass lead now. <laughs> he got you an out route. Got you a slow pulse out route there. I'm going to go to instant replay and show you. So after you motion him over, you got you a slow pulse route. He goes under the linebacker, you see, and the cornerback doesn't have any position to guard him. So that's a great route to run. I'm going to again for you. Put the slant wide, the slot wide receiver in a streak. Motion him over to the left and cancel the play action and look for him to go under and I'll get a better concept of it. So that's another way you can run it. Um, uh, another way you can run this play is that uh, Robert, you can motion him all the way over. Motion him, yep, right there. Cancel the play action and look for the out route. This is a great concept play there. So got you another post out route there. Um, got an instant replay show you. Um, after you cancel the play action uh, there, um, got your out route you see how he gets to the sideline he goes up the sideline corners can't guard that so that's very good as well uh another way you can run this it's, 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 it's so many damn ways you can run this play this um what's another way you can run it uh you can streak the tight end um put him in a drag and put him in a slant that's the last way Cancel the play action and look at that. You got your levels concept there. I'm gonna go to Insta Replay and show you guys. And guess what this looked like, guys? You have you another PA in the round. Look at that. Uh, after he drags across the field, you got level one, level two. Then check this out. He cuts across, so you got your level two and you got your streak. So that's a very good way to run it. Uh, put him in a drag, put him in a slant, uh, you can streak him, and cancel play action, pass lead down. Very tight way to throw, but you know, that comes down to how you play the game or what you see open, so I'm gonna run it last play there. Um, pass lead down, after he makes his cut, see how he makes his cut? How the corner just can't react to that in time. So. So you got your PA in the round look. So yeah, you got your level one, you got your level two coming across the field, and you got your level three. Or you can wait on that route to cross, it doesn't matter. Um, you can wait on that route. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you wait on that route to cross. Okay, yeah, now they cross. No. I'm gonna show you an instant replay when they cross. You don't have to throw it like I did recklessly, but now if you want to go a couple yards to give him a quick throw so you won't react now. You have the level one, you have the level two, then you have the face catch across the middle of the field, which is good. So yeah, it's a great. Great way of running that play. Um another way is that you have the inside zone, you have the slot cross. So you have what three schemes in one you can run this play. So 
<laughs> that was a lot of plays I just went in. So make sure you watch that thoroughly. It's <laughs> <That's> a lot. <laughs> um, uh, dice slot. Um, we went over that. Uh, what else we got? Oh yeah, the PA stretch. This is another slicky play. Um, I think I can only run it two different ways. Um, you can slant the wide receiver so you get a tight end cross. You cancel play action, bam. You got you a little tight end cross there automatically. So yeah. that's one way of running it. That's self-explanatory. You got you a tight end cross. Um, you can motion Garcon over, motion him over after he motions. See that route? Cancel the play action. Um, you got your triangle wide open. Fucking motions over. Okay. Right. Motion one more time. Uh, wait till he sets. Okay, now he's set. Now you can cancel the play action. And triangle be open. Level one, level two. And once again, guys, check this out. Check this out. That's the replay. Guess what? Guess what, guys? If you pay attention there, you have another PA in the round. Look at that. <laughs> you got try you got the level one, you got the level two, you got the level three, and you got the level four. Look at that. <laughs> you got your whole look, like, all these players are in a complete line. <laughs> you got your whole PA in the round. Oh man. I found this out about this playbook. I was like, no wonder a lot of people win it with this playbook. <laughs> so uh, motion him over, but you gotta wait on that zig route. You have to wait on that. It, it takes a while, but it, you have to wait. But when he cuts past lead down, you see how fast he cuts there. <laughs> but you gotta wait just a little bit, just a little bit longer. But when he cuts, hit that route automatically. So cancel play action. Wait, 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 wait. Pass lead now, and look, look at the way he cuts. Like he just, he just cuts his defender like out, out this world. Like. <laughs> So, yeah. And you see the line of players, you got the PA in the round, levels kind of stuff there. So, there you go. We got four different areas you can throw automatically. So, um, that's one way you can run it. You got the tight end cross, you got that. Uh, I think that's about it for that play. Um, I hope this dice slot not long. Probably is going to be a long video. You can do a lot of stuff out of this formation. Um, we went over stretch, we went over post, we went over uh, another formation that we didn't go over. Zone week, very self-explanatory, got the old one trap, so you already know how to use that from previous video, you can watch part one. Uh, what's really good is the wide receiver fade. You can run this play stock, which doesn't matter. You can run this play stock. What I like about this play is the running back route. So. If you wait a little bit, wait a little bit, we're gonna get that speed boost or whatever it is. So <laughs> it's, it's a funny route, but it works. So funny route, but it works. You can run it stop. So if um, the wide receiver cuts, the linebacker can't react. Zoom, he just he gets good SDRs. Plus, you got the automatic slot. So you got that slot right there coming across the field with that post route. So there you go with the post. You got a streak. And you got the little streak, little cutback concept there, the curl route. So you got a lot of plays to pick from, from that formation. So that's a great little starter play for you to come out in if you feel as though you're not confident with the rest of them. So, um, what else I have to go over? Well, Z spot, yeah, I'll, I'll tell y'all how to run Z spot. That's the uh, PA in the round concept. Um, uh, they got a misdirection in here. I'll show y'all how to run that in the first previous. Um, uh, what I forgot to teach y'all was the screen, uh, the tight end screen. Now, this play is very good. So, um, you can put the tight end in a flat, put him in a flat and streak the receiver and put the running back in a swing route to the right. And you got you a little screen. You got you a good screen there. So, that's a great way. And if you want to fool your opponent, if you want to fool them like I do all the time, you can leave them on that route. You can leave the tight end on that route and put the running back in the swing route and throw to the tight end. It works, but you got to time it right if they're not guarding it. Or you can put the tight end on the slant and swing the running back to the right. And so you see, you got that 
got that same blocking concept there. So, there you go. So, you can run that very different ways to fool your opponent. You know, just work with the tight end if you can, if you feel as though that's not open for you. Uh, ooh, dice slot was pretty long. I know y'all like wow, because cool. there's a lot of stuff in this playbook. Um, HB, slip screen, self-explanatory, misdirection, self-explanatory, Z-spot. Oh, you got the wide receiver screen, which is good. Um, just like I taught you, put the wide receiver in a streak. You can put him in the right. You still got the same concept. You got two blockers. There you go. Got you another screen look, just to show them a different look of the screen. Um, uh, what else you can do? You can put him in a streak, put the tight end in an out route, swing the receiver to the right, which you got. Got you another, another different look of the screen. Um, different concepts you can run with it. Uh, you can even throw to that side if you want. See, you can throw to that side. So you can take off too. So after you put them in a flat, you can throw to that side as well. So that's a good concept as well to mix it up. Plus you got the just the regular wide receiver screen itself. So you can run that as regular. And what's good about the wide receiver screen is that you have that out route to the right, so you can definitely put that, put Jack in the slant. Wait a little bit, and you have an out route there, so if you wait a little bit, you got the out route there. That's good, too. So, oh, I think this video was about 16 minutes, so I hope y'all got a lot from Dice Slot itself, so very good formation if you want to start out with to play against people, so, yeah. You got the misdirection, you got the 0 one trap, you got the stretch, the inside zone. You have a whole bunch of running plays you can run out of it. So if you're a runner like me, take advantage of the running plays, self-explanatory. That's all. So next formation I'm gonna be working on is wide trips. Not a lot out of here, not much, but it work. Um yeah. So if y'all enjoyed this part of the video, make sure you watch the end of the video. If y'all want the Red Sea defense, only four bucks, I believe. Um, that's about it. I'm going to catch y'all on the next. If y'all going to be great on that field, you got to have a why. You got to have a reason for why you do what you do. Blue dream by the bouquet till I'm blue face on a Tuesday. Can I have some? Blue dream by the bouquet till I'm blue face on a Tuesday. Can I have some? Blue dream by the bouquet till I'm blue face on a Tuesday. Can I have some? Blue dream by the blue dream by the blue dream by the blue dream by the blue dream. Blue dream by the bouquet till I'm blue face on a Tuesday. Can I have some? Blue dream by the bouquet till I'm blue face on a Tuesday.